This is the worst boss ever. So if you've been in the workforce, you've probably had a couple bad bosses. Maybe they scream at you all the time. Maybe they constantly make you work outside work hours like they're constantly sending emails, or maybe they are just horrible people sent by the universe to mess with you. Now, I obviously have the best boss ever, that being youtube.com, where they randomly decide to nuke your entire existence off the soul if you if you flinch in the wrong direction. Might just delete your entire life's work for fun, Lamar. Anyways, I can't complain that much because despite all of that, I am still in a cozy chair and I'm allowed to use the bathroom at any time I please unlike the people in this video. So this video actually pissed me off, okay? It's got this stereotypical Karen-ass mother flipper bossing these workers around and basically telling them that they can't use the bathroom in the house that they're working on. So basically, she's hired some people to work on some renovations in the house, and maybe she's planning on living there, or maybe she's planning on renting it out to other people. Doesn't really matter. The fact is the workers are working in the house, and they should be allowed to use the bathroom because it takes about two minutes and that's easier than, I don't know, going across the street or, or going to some sort of a, a public stall to use the bathroom. Doing your job? Yeah, I've been going to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom at home. You can't go to the bathroom here? No, it's not a public bathroom. It's a house and I don't want anybody going to the bathroom. You, no, you can, when you take your break, you can go to the bathroom. Okay. Don't argue with me. I'm the one that pays you. Don't be yelling at me. You have no right to be yelling at someone. This is the United States of America. And, I understand and you that. not deserve to be fucking yelling at anybody that okay. works here just because we're Mexican. No. You, you have no I'm right. I'm a Mexican too. Exactly. And you can, okay. you think you're above everybody. You need to just leave because right you're here. You should not be yelling at everybody. You need to leave right now. Yeah, you need to leave right now before she eats you alive because she's a hungry, hungry hippo. I mean, what kind of horrible person doesn't let someone use the bathroom, dude? Like the last time I dealt with this issue was probably like in middle school where I had one of those crazy power hungry teachers, right? Who made you hold in your pee for like several hours, the duration of the lesson to the point where some poor kid ends up just peeing their pants in front of everybody and it's kind of like ruined their entire life because all the kids start laughing at them and then they have to go tell their parents which is damn embarrassing then their parents come to school who are like enraged at this teacher who didn't let their child pee and it's just a a whole process you don't you just don't want to deal with and it's like what was the alternative to that just let the kid goddamn go pee and this is a completely different situation because this isn't even a, a matter of control because like in, in a classroom the teachers kind of have a level of control but over here it's like they're full-grown adults okay you're, they're allowed to pee when they want to you know now i don't really care what anyone says that oh they're getting paid by the hour or whatever and they might be using their bathroom time to extend their pay which is absolutely redonkulous i don't think people actually do that i feel like allowing someone to use a bathroom is just basic human decency and saying go to the bathroom during your like break time is just absolutely a, a disgusting level of control it's like yes there are designated break times yes but they're probably like two in the day if i'm not mistaken which is not always ideal sometimes like some people just need to go to the bathroom more often and they'd probably work more efficiently if you actually just allowed them to excrete their bodily fluids you know go pee go go take a shit otherwise it's, it's it's gonna be hard to put those tiles you know something else might come out not to mention that they are literally in the same house and to complete that action takes about a couple uh, like a minute max or i don't know if you're taking a shit and you're me Meh, 10 minutes, maybe an hour sometimes. Okay, maybe don't let them take a shit for an hour. But, you know, 10 minutes to go pee, 10 minutes to take a shit is fine, okay? Now, if they have bowel problems, such as uh, certain individuals, then uh, maybe. And let's not act like this is some sort of easy work, okay? This is hard labor. This is manual labor. And they're, they're pretty much doing this, like, all day, every day. From what I understand, they're probably, like, going from job to job to job to, you know, make enough money to make a living. And this is like constant, okay? They might have come across several other dickhead owners such as yourself. Although majority in, in my experience, like at least the way people I know and my family has treated workers, they were really nice. You know, we try to give them a bunch of stuff and, you know, make their experience much easier. But I don't know, uh, some people are just born devils. Usually when somebody shows up to do work at our house, they usually end up going with some tea or biscuits. They get cold drinks, water, 
and you you always get a tip pretty much it doesn't even matter if you do a horrible job obviously get a better tip if you do a better job but still it's just like okay we got it you know the, the job's hard and we're in a in a good position so might as well you know help people out a bit because at the end of the day they're they're a guest in your house right and maybe 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 it's not even your house maybe you're just overseeing some sort of activity it's like it doesn't take a saint to be a good person and and just offer them maybe a drink or something like that and obviously some of their jobs might even be involved working in the heat it's not always inside and even inside sometimes it's super hot it's not like all these houses are air conditioned all, all the time this person might even shut off the goddamn air conditioning just to just to mess with these people so you never know how long the car then i'm the owner of the house i'm the one paying you and you need to leave right now i'm gonna call the police go ahead okay you don't want to make a scene with me you need to leave now call ricardo and pick me up wait outside Call him. You I don't have a number. I don't have a number. Okay. Uh, he, he pays me where someone is. He pays where someone else. Call his number. Call him. Is this how you treat everyone? I got person? work through someone else. Can you call him right now, please? He's not going to answer. Then how are you going to leave? How are you going to leave? You're not going to answer. Okay, wait for him. He's still behind a bit. All right. You should know the rights here. 15 minutes of break. guys watch out we got a big bad owner over here you know i own the house i pay you that means i i technically own your soul i'm big mom over here sucking out the soul from your body and i control every aspect of your being holy shit just because you pay someone doesn't mean you literally own their existence okay actual power hungry lunatic now she talked about like calling 911 as well like calling the police like i'm gonna call the police what are you gonna tell them? Hello, 911, uh, what's, it, what's your emergency here? Well, um, <laughs> I hired some workers and get this, get this. They wanted to use the goddamn toilet. Disgusting. On, on work hours, not even during their breaks. They wanted to go to the toilet during work hours. They wanted to take two minutes out of their goddamn tiling job and, and, and go, go pee. Disgusting! Arrest them immediately! Life in prison, actually! You're probably gonna self-report for, I don't know, human rights violations or some shit. Okay, now I also wanted to talk about the other guy and how he's, like, continuing working as well. Because I, I don't know what's going on here. Maybe the, the workers aren't, aren't in, like, complete agreement here. One of them is, like, standing up for themselves, obviously. And the other one, I mean, I don't really blame that guy for just continuing doing the work. Some people have the attitude of, like, why make the situation harder for myself? Instead, let me just do the work, get away from this person as quickly as possible, and move on to the next job because not everyone's going to be a tyrant like this person, right? So you just want to you just want to finish it up, right? Now, obviously, he posted this on TikTok to I don't know, just share the story, what's going on, and he asked uh, people, "What legal action can I do?" Now. Uh, just for me observing this like it's a dickhead thing to do by the owner but i don't think there's any sort of legal action you can pursue here it's probably too minor of an offense here i mean don't get me wrong like if you have like several videos of them like restricting your p 
peeing for like eight hours a day or something, then you could probably do something. But a, a minor infraction such as this, you probably couldn't go to court or get anything like that. So I would suggest just move on, you know, move on and expose this person on social media. That's good. This is one of the fringe situations where I would say it was good to film the video because now other people will probably not work for this person, which is definitely a good thing, you know? Okay, taking a look at some of these comments here. I feel so bad for these workers. My mom got windows put in recently and she noticed that they were working nonstop under the hot sun. This is often the case. She gave them water with ice and forced them to take a break. They were grateful, but also begged her not to tell the company that they took a break. Yeah, some of these companies are just hella oppressive, you know? We recently had our roof replaced. After the guys were done, I ran to the beer store and grabbed them a cold case of Modelo for after work. That's what they asked for. They were very appreciative for it. We were also getting rid of a Power Wheels tank our daughter grew out. Uh, grew out of and one of the guys asked if they could have it for their kid I was more than happy to give it to them actually nice redditors guys This is one of those fringe situations where I'm actually happy Actually happy that people are sharing all these good deeds that they're doing I hope nobody's making this shit up, but I, I believe it. Okay, I believe it This is the way to do it My mom taught me early on to always respect the people doing the hard labor If you have someone over to work You always make sure they know they have a bathroom and a cool place to sit out of the sun for a bit and cold water to drink at the absolute minimum. That's what I don't get. If somebody's actually helping you, why would you be a dickhead to them? I just don't understand. They're either gonna do a worse job, even if you're looking at it selfishly, they're, they're just gonna do a worse job for you, or two, they're just not gonna be motivated and it makes you look like a dickhead person. Bad for your soul, if you believe in that type of shit, but you know. People who do work on houses are some of the hardest working people I've met, at least in my experience. Often very friendly people too, as long as you're friendly to them. If someone is working on the place you plan on living in, be nice. Then again, it's possible they're flipping Flipping, flipping it or renting it out. So maybe she doesn't really care how good of a job they do. Even in that case, she should care because if, she, if you're renting out the place, you want it to be in tip top condition, not just for photos, but just for the residents as well. Listen guys, I don't care uh, how big you become in life or if you're a president of the world, you treat people who work hard with respect, especially if they're doing you a favor or doing you a service. This is common human decency and you know, don't lose your soul along the way of climbing the corporate ladder or whatever, or, or getting lost in your achievements or something like that. The classic quote is treat other people the way you want to be treated, regardless of their perceived status or anything. And click this video or what's the worst punishment ever? She sits on you. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.